Hello, boys and girls. My name is Lotsa C, and welcome back to Game Dev episode number nine. Uh, last time uh, we created our first large game. It was well, not the biggest success, but uh, somewhere you have to start. And uh, today we want to uh, um, improve. Um, so let's get right into it. Pick a topic. Um, we did the large transport game. So maybe uh, we can do... Um, a spy game uh, spy game shall we do it as an RPG of course it will be a large game and uh, let's call it MI7 because why not um, Play System 2, the M box, and of course the PC with our latest game engine. Um, it's a 3D game. And then we kick off. So, what's important? for an RPG game. Um, probably engine not so much, but gameplay and story a bit more. Just a guess. And let's use the boost here. Okay, our last game is off the market. Um, I don't think it will be a hype. And as you can see, we are already half through 21 years and uh, we set the gameplay for 42 years until our retirement. And so far, I would say we did pretty well. We came pretty far for half time. So now we can focus on the uh, essential parts. And usually I have the feeling that uh, uh, I'm later at this point um, in the game. So, um, yeah, we did good. Hopefully we can continue on this road and we also did a bit of, uh, of uh, marketing already that should help with the uh, hype and hopefully uh, also with the uh, sales later on uh, so that we can make good money of our efforts here um, Yep, that sounds, looks about reasonable. And then let's use a bit more of our boost here. And quite a few bucks, but uh, we still have a bit of time to iron those out. Okay. Uh, 
exploding barrels for one of our games. Why not? So maybe we can think of a game where they fit in well. And of course the game should do well. And then the yeah, exploding barrels will also be a smash hit. An exploding smash hit. Okay. Uh, box are gone. Uh, maybe some more points here and there. Then the convention right before the release of our new game. That should increase the, the hype a bit there. Yeah. That made quite a big jump. And then we release new design record. Very nice. Salary increase for Kristen. And where do we stand here? Technology is almost 700. 700 is. Uh, important uh, mark here okay an eight and a seven and an eight and a nine so it's an eight overall very good i'm i'm happy with, with that and then let's uh, do some research for uh, topics. Um, hacking. Okay, the Mbox 360 is being announced. Um, uh, let's do the game report by Rolf. Um, what can we do here? Uh, I want to have the 3D graphics, uh, but also uh, online play, um, orchestral soundtrack, surround sound. So we will need a bit more points there so let's uh, do another topic here um, do some uh, design training and um, did I see fantasy as a topic yes Okay, we might made 500k sales uh, within the first two months, which is good thing. And that news helped us uh, here a bit in the third month. And we have 1 million. And that's quite good for our uh, rocket there. Uh, for our profit. Um, what does the game report say? Spy and RPG, a great combination. Play System 2 and RPG, great. Okay. And we will do a bit more research. So. Basically, everyone gets tired out and uh, can go on uh, vacation. So we can then do an, uh, another um, another large game 
once everyone is back from their vacation. And that leaves five point for some training, some very basic training, but training nonetheless. Okay, location, location. Location. Action games are popular. Location and vacation. Okay, everyone is back, so let's figure out what our next topic will be um, if we do an action game that would probably um, be good but what topic shall we do Superheroes. Um, flying aces. Could also be a, a, a flying game. Boom! The uh, pink sea got a new um, icon there. So let's go with the uh, same three systems. And action would probably do good with uh, exploding barrels. And um, yeah. Superheroes. That no, does not sound totally uh, off. And the Mbox 360 has been released. So we will see how well that does in the future. But first, let's create a few bucks. Where would the fun be uh, otherwise? Um, then let's also think about marketing. Let's go with this. think about filling our last position here I'm not yet so sure so let's wait uh, until uh, we finish uh, this game um, let's switch this around a bit Right. 
And then we also have a bit of a boost to spare here. And we will go with the medium boost once again. Okay, Nivento also announces a new console. Okay, we are on the uh, home stretch, and that's probably the last M box game we will do as it comes off the market in two months. Okay, how are we doing here? Okay, every time a few more people at our booth. And the numbers are looking great. I think we are uh, um, cross the 300 line uh, on the design side uh, already with the last game. And we were not fast enough for hedging up on the uh, action trend there. But we're still looking good. So let's finish the game and we hit a new high on the uh, tech side there. Quite a few people leveled up. That means salary increase. Okay, how did we do? an eight and another eight and another eight will it be a solid eight yes it is a solid eight um, then um, let's do one of the uh, expensive uh, research that I want maybe the 3D graphics first um, some design training here um, the game report of course as always right We crossed the half million mark already in the in the first months, and the one million in the uh, third one. Um, so let's not spend too much research points here, and uh, Dave Johnson. Who oh, made the offer with the uh, exploding barrel is quite happy and has sent cake over to us. Yummy! Okay. Let's give away the uh, our first game engine. Okay, what are the uh, insights here? Superheroes and action, great combination. Okay, and let's do let's do another game, but a medium one. And uh, we will pick life for this. 
um, make it a casual game for young people. Um, on the PC, of course. Then the uh, GS. We have the money to buy the license. And let's go with the Mbox 360. Um, life as life, um, almost. Um, it's a 2D game this time. Okay, that's a clear picture right there. I don't need um, that much on the engine side. And as we almost have 100k, we can look for another developer. Let's spend about 400k on that um, we want to have a, a good all-rounder I think okay what do we have here 200 a bit more on the on the design side bit more on the tech side and also a bit more on the tech side level 3 level 4 from what i see here i would go with uh, with emmanuel and then train him in staff welcoming. Um, being modest as always. Because our crew is already a bit tired. So that bar here indicates uh, a bit of... Uh, uncomfortability due to the new staff member and let's put Emmanuel right on uh, on the AI which is not that much but let him be part of the experience. And then we probably also should do some uh, marketing. Ooh, and casual games are a trend. How lucky of us that we are doing a casual game. Um, yep, okay. This will probably not be our best game or our best selling game, but it's a game nevertheless, and I would assume uh, uh, we can still earn 
bit of cash from that. Okay, the PlayStation 3 is announced. A lot of new consoles in this episode. Okay. Um, let's go with a large boost this time. We have to invest a bit into our future. And then let's release the game. Okay. And then most of our crew needs a vacation. Okay, how did we do? It's a six and a five and a five and a five. That's probably due to the to the tiredness of the team. My experience that tends to uh, cause some issues here. Ooh, that's really a large booth. I would not call it a booth, it's more like a hall. And we have over 1 million visitors, so uh, um, switching to the to the bigger venue there um, seemed to have paid off. Okay, and game report says live and casual okay, PC casual terrible, PC young okay. Yeah, of course. But now uh, when Kristen is uh, also back in a short time. We can tackle the next game, which is once again large. And I have something fancy in mind. A fantasy game and it's an RPG game. So, Mbox, the Play System 2, also the Play System 3 is right around the corner. And the PC, um, our game engine, and how shall we name it? Um, game of Sorns. And it's a 3D game. So title is so that we don't get a copyright strike. Right, story quest uh, gameplay um, engine. Uh, but let's make it multiplayer. I think that's important for a, for an RPG game. Well, we did say sell half a million, but probably not too much more. Okay.
Okay, then let's do some marketing and we will do a large campaign, which costs us uh, 2 million. But we get TV spots and whatnot. Okay. Uh, where shall we involve Ralph? We'll use him in the last stage. Okay, so... We generated uh, 6 millions in sales. Um, I think if we go into the history here, we can see it cost us 4 million and we made 6 and a half out of it. So, even if it was not a great game, um, we made a profit out of it. Okay, so sound maybe not that important, but I would think uh, we'll design a bit more. So let's go with that. And also use uh, their boost once again. a bit on the tax side but and maybe what I experience is that um, each type of game has a has a bit of a different uh, distribution uh, based on uh, where the um, different focus topics are okay can we get a few more points in Hopefully not too many bucks. Um, large boost once again. Yep. Let's finish it off. And we hit a new record on uh, both these topics. And we release the game. And we have more than uh, 200 uh, uh, research points, which should be good. Uh, to get a few more topics researched. But let's send Emmanuel on vacation. How did we do? It's an eight. And another eight. And another eight. And a seven. Okay. Um, and let's do the game report. Uh, research. The. Uh, orchestral soundtrack and what's the other thing um, online play and then do a bit of training f 
for the rest of the crew. side here. Alright. At the games convention. One point two millions. I think that's a bit more than um, the last time. Okay. And with the game report in our hands, we will finish off this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon. Until then, goodbye.